Buffalo grass is a great grass for Nebraska. It's, it's uh, native to the Great Plains and it makes for a really nice lawn grass. The, the benefit of buffalo grass is that it requires a lot less maintenance than Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue. Uh, and that's maintenance after the year of establishment. Uh, the year of establishment, it takes uh, water, fertilization, and mowing, just like a Kentucky bluegrass or a tall fescue lawn. Buffalo grass is a warm season grass and so you seed it in the spring and it establishes all summer and then with the first frost it tends to turn brown and that's the end of the growing season and so uh, we're going to establish a buffalo grass lawn and uh, first thing we did we established the grade. Uh, this was a, a lawn that was temporarily seeded to perennial ryegrass so last fall I came in I killed the perennial ryegrass and so it was uh, and then I came in uh, a couple of days ago and started tilling. Uh, it took me a couple of days to establish the final grade. We don't have much uh, movement on this lawn and so it's, it's only moves a little less than 1% so it took a while to establish a grade. When you're establishing lawn really take the time to establish that grade and make sure it's level and make sure it flows away from the house because that's really the only time that you can do it. So after we established the grade, uh, uh, we tilled it one last time and then we compacted it slightly with the tractor and then I went in and with the really light tilling about an inch deep right before I seeded it. And the reason I did that is because with buffalo grass, as a warm season grass, you want to slightly bury the seed. With cool season grasses, you want to leave them just up on top of the, of the surface, but with warm season grasses, you want to get them down a quarter of an inch to a half an inch more or less. And so we tilled it really lightly, only about an inch, maybe an inch and a half deep. And then we seeded, uh, put down starter fertilizer, and, uh, and then with, with buffalo grass, since it's a spring seeded grass, crab grass can be a problem. So I applied tenacity over the top, and tenacity is a relatively new herbicide. In my opinion, it's a game changer for seeding buffalo grass because you can apply it in the seed bed. It doesn't affect the buffalo grass whatsoever, or for that matter, it doesn't affect Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue. But what it does, it allows that buffalo grass to germinate without any weeds, without any weed competition. And so once I seeded it all in, uh, sprayed the tenacity, the, my final step was to go back through it with the track, with the, the light, you know, relatively lightweight tractor and actually push those seeds down into the soil. And so now the vast majority of those seeds are, are maybe not quite buried, but they're an eighth of an inch or so, maybe a quarter of an inch deep in the soil. And so now I'll turn on the water. I'll keep it watered uh, really th probably throughout the summer. Hopefully we'll get enough rain, but I'll keep it watered throughout the summer. I uh, will fertilize it about once every four weeks. I'll apply tenacity again in another, uh, another four weeks after, after establishment. And by this fall, I should have a very nice, uh, very nice t uh, buffalo grass lawn. And so after this first year of establishment, which takes a, a bit of, of work, just like spring seeding tall fescue or Kentucky bluegrass, I'll be able to mow this lawn about once every five or six weeks. I only have to mow it from essentially May until August, and it'll really be a nice uh, buffalo grass lawn. It'll fit in very well out here in the country with the rest of our native grasses.